for the first time this morning. I want everybody here, if you got an iPhone, take your iPhone out. This is going to be an aha moment for you. Go to settings in your, uh, in your iPhone. Scroll down to battery. And then scroll all the way down to battery health and charging. Scroll all the way down to the next, uh, to the bottom, you'll see a clean energy charging button. It's probably green. Have you been having any problems charging your iPhone lately? Here's the reason why. Read that paragraph. Apple, without your knowledge, without our knowledge, opted us in to a clean energy AI, we think, option to not charge your battery if they think the grid is under stress or you're not in a good enough carbon emission area to use the electricity. Proponents of this will say, oh well, you can opt out. But friends, why are we being automatically opted in? And how many more things are we going to be opted in by some of these environmental zealots on the other side without our knowledge? The ethics of this are troubling to me, and I can guarantee you this committee, maybe not this subcommittee, but we may, but others are going to be looking into this because I think it's egregious. But let me go back to last June. Many of you remember in this committee we had a hearing that focused on a Democrat piece of legislation that would look into mandating so-called demand response technology on new water heaters at that time. On the surface, new technology, they say, can be leveraged to improve efficiency and save consumers money. Sounds great, but here's the catch. This idea that an outside entity like the power company or even the government at the push of a button could force you or your family to take cold showers because the grid is overloaded is absurd. And it's not just water heaters. It's heating and air conditioning and perhaps even EV charging stations. And yes, it's voluntary for now. And now with AI coming to the power sector, well, you can see where this could all be heading and what might be happening behind the scenes without any of our knowledge. So, Mr. Sistu, have I got that right? Am I saying that right? Yes, Congressman. Okay. Thanks for being here. I'm, I'm a technology nut myself. I, I'm an inventor, computer scientist. Things have come a long way since I started out. But I was working with AI back in the early 80s when AI was a buzzword. I appreciate what you do to make people's lives better. But I do want to ask you, the technology you work on to make homes more efficient, automating usage, and as your testimony says, quote, prioritizing what to power during outages, do you believe that American consumers should be able to consent to all of this first and opt out, opt in only if they want to? So first of all, uh, Congressman, I'd like to, uh, since you said you studied AI in 1980s, uh, I think we can all uh, see how far the technology has come. And yeah. It is not something that came last year. So I'm, I'm, I'm limited on time. Yeah. So, so do you think people ought to be able to op, uh, be, have to opt in and they don't have to participate, they don't want to? Absolutely. I think okay. this do is you, a tool. Do you believe that AI from, say, the power company should be able to override the temperature that someone wants to heat or cool their homes at any given point in time? Do you think the power company ought to be able to do that? I think it's a contract between the consumer and the utility. So the, so the customer should have the choice, should have right? have the choice. Absolutely. Or, or should they be able to prevent someone from charging an EV at the time of day that they choose to? Same as no. above. It okay. should be in control. So we know consumer behavior can be changed with prices, too. Is it ethical, in your view, to use AI to force Americans into higher prices for charging or using electricity based on the time of day or energy mix on the grid at any given time? 
So most of the AI algorithms, Congressman, take into account the prices that are there uh, published, that are provided by utilities, not really influence them per se. Um, but you know, it, it is not something that I foresee AI doing to influence prices. Okay. Because some folks on the environmental left would love to weaponize this technology, and if they had their way, it would be mandatory and we wouldn't have a choice to opt in or know about it first. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, we've got to look more into this kind of activity for sure. I yield back. Mr. Chairman, I just want the record to reflect nobody over here is having trouble charging their phones. Not today, because we got plenty of electricity because the House is not doing anything Okay, else. Um, Chair, I'll now recognize Mr. Fluger.